everyone and welcome to today's video. Happy Sunday. We are going to be doing something a little casual for this Sunday. I've been putting together a list of things. Admittedly, it's not that long, but I still want to go through it. A list of products that TikTok has made me buy. I feel like TikTok has a lot of a lot of persuasive buying powder. And I feel like you see these short clips and these short videos and things work and you're like, all right, let me just try it. I also need your help because I'm kind of having this inner conflict where I don't know whether I like this background better in front of my vanity or the other background I have in front of my bookshelf. It's a little bit easier for me to film here than over there, but please let me know down below in the comments which background you prefer, which one looks better. I don't know. Usually I always do this background if I'm doing like a foundation Friday or trying out makeup just because I have my desk here and it's much easier if that makes sense but let me know if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you are new here welcome my name is Esty welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by on my channel we discuss all things in the beauty world and sometimes some other things so if that interests you be sure to subscribe down below if you are liking this video as you're watching you already know to give this a thumbs up give it a like it really really helps me and without further ado let's get into all of the products that TikTok has made me buy. So I kind of want to start in the order of like oldest to newest and just seeing this product brings me back to like way early in quarantine. The first product is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow. Also before I get started I do want to mention that unfortunately I just don't remember any of the pages or any of the creators that kind of put this out into the open or like what pages I saw it. I wish I did so I can like reference down below so you can check those creators out but like I said I don't have those TikTok videos saved or anything like that so anyways I am sorry about that but let's get back to the Maybelline tattoo brow basically this is an eyebrow tint I have to admit I've only used this once or no, maybe I used it twice. I don't know. It was way early into quarantine. I remember it was literally this time last year and I had like just downloaded TikTok. And I feel like that's really when TikTok like blew up immensely because everyone was stuck in quarantine. Everyone was downloading it. And I saw this that it tints your brows and it lasts a few days. So I decided to pick it up. And the issue I have, well, obviously my eyebrows are done right now and they're filled in, but my eyebrows are very thin on the tail end. So I have hair on the tail end, but it kind of goes from thick to super thin. So I always have to like pencil them in right here, if that makes sense. So I was like, oh, let me try a brow tint. I'll put it over there in that direction. So, you know, I won't have to like fill it in. Long story short is that this actually works super duper well and it's super easy. You literally put it, I don't, I don't remember how to use it because I haven't used it in a really long time, but you apply it and even if you mess up a little bit, you can like take a Q-tip and sort of like clean it up a little bit. Um, and then it literally just like peels off and then you have a tint and it lasts like two to three days. So although I really like this, the issue with me is that I'm a lazy girl and I wasn't keeping up with applying this every two to three days. You know what I mean? Next up, I have a few fragrances to talk about. And the first two are from the brand called Neymat. I hope I'm saying that right. And they're both fragrance oils. So the first one I have is Amber and then I have Vanilla Musk. Amber, I had heard about much earlier and I just heard that this was like available at Whole Foods. And around the same time, it happened to be like a new Whole Foods opened up, not in like my neighborhood, but like a 15 minute drive. I remember going there like opening week specifically for this. This perfume oil is like a 10 out of 10. That being said, it's pretty, ex I think this is like 20 bucks. So it's pretty expensive for the amount that you get, but this amber scent smells amazing. It's ambery, it's warm, and I don't know, you just rub it onto your wrist or wherever you want to apply it. And it just goes with your body well. And it just, it's like a really nice, warm scent. I wouldn't say that it's sweet. It's very ambery, but it's like a warm ambery type of scent. It's delicious. And then the next one was like, I saw this video and was like, oh my God, if you love amber, the vanilla musk is even better. So hello, I ran out obviously and I got the vanilla musk. This I don't like at all. To me, it just smells like straight synthetic vanilla. You all know if you watch my other videos, I love vanilla perfumes and it can be tough to find vanilla perfumes that don't smell super synthetic. Synthetic, and this just smells very synthetic. So this is a pass, but the amber is a favorite and they're actually now available on Ulta. And then the other fragrance I have is the Vanille from Autremer Paris. Um, so someone had done a video on this and I believe it used to be on Amazon, but it was like sold out everywhere. It used to be on Urban Outfitters and it was also sold out. I was able to get it from Small 
flower apothecary i believe it was called and i just thought this would be like a great vanilla brown sugar sweet and it does smell like this but i did speak about this in my other perfume video i did like a perfume tag video and now that this smells bad but the batch that i got i don't know if this is an old batch or whatever it is it just smells like straight alcohol so it just smells like a really cheap like body mist that is like half the fragrance half alcohol but like you get mostly the alcohol and it doesn't really last that long so i do like the way that it smells but i don't know i don't know did i get a bad batch is it very alcoholy i don't I don't really know. A lot of people love this, but it just didn't work for me. Next up, let's talk about CeraVe. Um, I really feel like TikTok and skincare with Hiram kind of turned CeraVe into like the most wanted, most famous brand. And to be honest, I've always been sort of like a La Roche Posay type of stan. So I didn't really know much about CeraVe. It's always a brand that like I kind of saw, but like I never you know, I never really looked into. But um, the first thing I purchased from them was their daily moisturizing lotion. And I really like this. It's a really solid lotion. I do have combination skin. My T-zone gets pretty oily. My chin is dry. Everything else is normal. And it works really good for my combination skin. It doesn't make me oily throughout the day. It is strong enough for my dry chin as well. I will say that this is a solid like daily moisturizer. I do not use this at night because it's not heavy enough, but I really like this. It's really gentle, doesn't irritate my perioral dermatitis. And then my most recent purchase from them is the hydrating facial cleanser. And I really like this. It's really gentle. I go in with it as my second cleanse. I feel like it cleanses everything nicely. It doesn't leave my skin feeling dry or tight or anything like that. And I feel like I don't even need to talk about these products because I feel like all of you already probably tried them or know about them or whatever, but TikTok really did make me buy this brand in general, so I did want to share. Next up, this one is a, it's a little janky over here. I have the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Glue. I, I don't, I don't know what happened here, um, but I discovered this over the summer on TikTok and I feel like literally every single person in the world now uses this as their brow gel. Probably should mention that, that I use this as a brow gel. But yeah, I feel like everyone already knows about this and this is great. I love using it as a brow gel. I'm using it today and I've literally been using it for every day. Probably need to get a new one though because I have no idea what happened into this but I really like this my only issue with this is that if you put like a hair too much you get that like 90s very like white crusty gel type of look if you know what I mean so although I love this I can't be like as like mindless and quick with this product as I am with like a normal brow gel if that makes sense because if you just put in a little too much it's it looks like a crusty mess the next product I want to talk about I actually do not have it with me because I disliked it so much that I returned it. Um, so that is the NYX Pro Shine Lip Pigment. I'm sure you have all seen it. It kind of went viral like maybe a month or two ago at this point, but it's the NYX lip product and I'll put up a picture right here. One side is a matte lipstick and one side is the lip gloss and it's supposed to like last all day and have this beautiful shine to it and it doesn't transfer whatever. It was like the worst thing ever. I spoke about this in my February hits and misses, I believe. Oh my God, it was literally terrible. I hated every second of it. One side of it was just like a liquid lipstick and it was just like a normal, super drying liquid lipstick. The other side that was the clear gloss was supposed to like, that was a whole shtick. Like the clear gloss was supposed to like last on top and last all day to give you this glossy look all day that like didn't transfer. The second I like ate something or like whatever, the gloss came right off. So it was basically just like a liquid lipstick. And then at the end of the night when I wanted to get the liquid lipstick off, it was like impossible. It was like a total mess. I absolutely hated every second of it. And yeah, I'm sad I put my lips through that. <laughs> Next up is a product that TikTok did not necessarily make me buy because, um, you know, I was like ahead of my time, but I didn't want to mention it. Um, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation, my favorite powder foundation. This has gone viral like in the last two or three weeks, and I've been using this for months at this point. Like, I know I'm so cool. Um, no, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, if you have seen this on TikTok and can get your hands on it, definitely do it. The way that's gone viral on TikTok is using the sponge that it comes with. I don't use a sponge that it comes with. I think it looks way too heavy and way too drying applying it with the sponge. And that's just on my face. I like to go in with a really, really, really fluffy brush, dig it in, put it on, bang, bang, boom. I absolutely love this because it is a 
full coverage powder foundation, like the most full coverage powder I have ever used. Obviously it doesn't have as much coverage as like a full coverage liquid foundation, but if you're looking for a really good full coverage powder foundation, 10 out of 10. Next up, I wanna talk about a hair item. This is the Eliza Vecca, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Sir 100 Collagen Ceramide Coating Protein Treatment. Saw this on TikTok, it was like seven or eight bucks on Amazon, so it's super affordable. And I do believe that this is a K-Beauty product, I'm not exactly sure about that. But basically the video I saw is that someone put it in their hair and was like, just air dry your hair with this and it'll look amazing. So I got it for that reason. Now when I did get it, I did look at Amazon for the instructions and this actually is supposed to be used like in the shower. Well, that's how I used it. I used it in the shower and basically people are saying that this is like a dupe to Olaplex 3. Let me tell you, this has nothing, <laughs> this has nothing on Olaplex 3. Olaplex 3 is a hundred times better. I did like this. I do feel like it did make my hair like nice and smooth and soft, but I just ultimately think, and I did finish this by the way, this is completely empty, but I do know that Olaplex 3 is way better. And I do like the L'Oreal A Second Wonder Water way better than this. If you want more information on that, I just uploaded a video last week about all of my hair favorites. So this I liked. It was good, but it wasn't great. All right, the last two products I have are my most recent purchases. And the first one is the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. So honestly, I saw this on TikTok, but I only saw ads of this on TikTok. Like I didn't actually see creators using this and being like, OMG, like I saw like, creators using this, but they were like ads from Maybelline, if that makes sense. But I still did see a lot of hype around this. A lot of people were talking about this. And I saw this in my local CVS as I was like going to get a prescription. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I'll pick this up. Wow, I really like this. Um, let me show you the brush. So it's this like plasticky brush. And usually I don't like brushes like this, like mascara ones like this, just because I don't usually like the plastic bristles, if that makes sense. Um, but wow, I mean, it's the mascara I'm wearing today, if you can see that. And I'm really impressed by this. It's really good. This really makes my lashes look fake. I am going to do a TikTok slash reels on this so you can see it applied in real time. I don't know when that will go up because I just have like so many things going on, but I really, really love this. And I just like it because I feel like it makes my eyelashes look long and thick at the same time. For me personally, I rather my lashes look very thick and black than like super long and like Thin, if that makes sense. And I feel like you kind of need to choose between one or the other, but I feel like this really lengthens my lashes, but also makes them look nice and black and thick. Last but not least is a product I have not tried, so I can't give you a review on it, but I just wanted to mention it. Um, this is the Kiss Falscara. I have no idea how to use this. Apparently you like put the bond on and then you put the false lash and they are like false. They're not individuals, but they're little like wisps of them. And then you like seal them in. And this is a product that I've seen a few times on TikTok. I was kind of just like, eh, I don't know. I'll kind of just sit to like traditional lashes. And I don't really wear traditional lashes that often anyways, just if I'm going to like a wedding or like a super special event, so on and so forth. But I saw this in my local Ulta and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try. It's staring right at me, it's meant to be. So yeah, if you have tried this, please let me know down below in the comments, but I am excited to try this. And I do foresee myself trying this out in a video because why not? All right, that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoy this. Please let me know down below products that TikTok has made you buy that you really, really love because you know I'm a shopping addict. Um, but anyways, thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in my next video, bye.